Welcome to the shooting show. This week we follow top foxer Mark Ripley out on a foxing mission with his trusty 260 REM and the latest in thermal technology from Night Pearl. This evening I've got a new bit of kit to test out. This is the CF50 from Night Pole. Now this is a thermal add-on for your um, standard rifle day scope. Basically what it does is that just clamps on the front of your rifle and converts your normal day scope into a thermal device. Now you'll see here I'm using it with an additional battery pack on there. That just gives you a little bit extra battery life um, or you can just run it on a couple of um, CR123As. So first impressions are looks a good well made unit nice and solid. Uh, I've had a quick look at the destructions and uh, it seems pretty straightforward to use so I think even I'll be alright with that. So um, well we'll take it out this evening and go and see if we can find some foxes. So with the weather forecast showing strong winds and the possibility of rain, I've decided to opt for sitting in the fox box this evening and hopefully a few foxes will come to me. So, as per usual, I'm using the Fox Pro cooler. I like these coolers, very good. I've got the cooler out there about 60 yards in front. Remote control, so I'll just start that going. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but you can hear that. That's um, Juvenile Red Foxes, is that cool? Which basically imitates uh, fox cubs playing and fighting out in the field. So, although it's too early for fox cubs at the moment, well, certainly uh, too early for cubs to be out on their own like that playing the field doesn't matter foxes don't know that they haven't got a calendar so they're all hit up at the moment all the hormones are going they're pairing up they're mating so it just I don't know it just pulls them in seems to work so let's keep doing it but uh, that said I haven't actually had many that have really come into the call they might have come into the field and have been looking around but um, normally this probably summertime you know, when there are cubs around that will pull them straight in So I'm uh, using the Tacticam on the side of my scope tonight. Now these little cameras work really well. They basically just attach onto the side of your day scope uh, and just records the footage straight through uh, the scope. But it doesn't sit sort of right in front of your eye or anything like that. It doesn't obscure your vision at all. It, you still look through it exactly the same as what you would if you're using the scope normally. In fact, I don't know how it works. It's, it's, it must be done with sort of mirrors and that, like a prism sort of like a periscope type uh, arrangement in there. I don't know, it's pretty clever though. Um, and you just one touch starts a recording, another touch stops a recording. Simple as that. So I'm using that purely because with the thermal scope, being that it's added onto the front of the day scope, you can't see the crosshairs. So it just makes for a little bit of better footage with that on the back there, so you see all the action, basically. So uh, that's why I'm using it on here tonight.
Unfortunately, I haven't got the tax cam quite lined up properly on my scope, and it's not showing off the seer to its full potential. Hey! Hey! Right, so that was a good start. I'll just see that fox come across the um, corner of this field here, it's heading down towards the farm, and um, I'll give him a quick shout. Got on swim on the side here, and just managed to uh, record that before it sort of disappeared around the end of the barn. Uh, I arranged it with the uh, Accolade range-finding thermal binoculars here, and um, that was out 175 yards. So. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll go and have a look see what it was, whether it was a vixen or a dog. Um, this time of year, if it's a vixen, there's a good chance that we get a dog following it. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep an eye out over the back there, just in case a dog fox comes along, picks up the scent, and um, comes into that one as well. If it was a vixen or um, you know, it was a dog fox, sometimes you get another dog will, will just pick up the scent and come in anyway. They're very uh, attracted to scent at the moment this time of year and they're pairing up and mating so uh, yeah normally one fox will pull in another so and keep my eyes peeled but uh, that's a good start anyway. Bearing in mind this fox is 175 yards out, I've had to zoom the scope in quite a bit to take the shot, so it's causing the image to pixelate a little bit. So I had two foxes in the field there. I had one behind me um, that was coming along the uh, hedgerow there. That's probably about 150 yards out. Um, I couldn't get a shot of that one though because unfortunately there's a house that sits just back behind there. So I was hoping it was going to come out along the hedgerow here. So I was giving it a little squeak and stuff and just keeping an eye on it. It was working its way up that hedgerow and I spotted another one out in the field right at the back there, which was, um, I hadn't, I didn't actually range that, I don't know how far that was, but I should think that was probably somewhere between 150 and 200 yards. Um, it was just sort of mooching around out the back there, and uh, I'll give it a few squeaks now, but it didn't seem to want to come any closer, but uh, no matter, I managed to get on it and drill it, and um, I thought that was the one that was over this side, I, I don't think he wanted any of that action, I think he just cleared off over the back there somewhere. So, Never know, he might, he might come back round at some point. So I just wait and see.
So I think the um, decision to sit in the Fox box tonight was definitely a, a smart move. It's blowing a hoolie out there. It's probably 15, 20 mile an hour gusts. So um, sitting in here, I've at least got a little bit of shelter. It's still cold, but it's not as cold as what it would be if I was out and about walking around. Uh, 260 was also a good choice this evening. I normally use a 223 for my night shooting, but this is a little bit better when it's as windy as this. It's sort of you haven't got to aim off so much. The um, 143 grain bullets that I'm using tend to just sort of buck the wind pretty well. So um, yeah, all in all, it's worked out pretty well. The um, night pearl add-on there that seems to work pretty well this evening. Um, a lot of those shots, I was quite surprised how far they were. I had uh, two at 175 yards or thereabouts, a little bit more, and one that was just at 65 there. So, yeah, all in all, pretty happy with that. I'm good, quite confident, I think. Um, if it wasn't quite so windy anyway, I'd certainly take it out a bit further than that. So, yeah, it's proved quite a good setup, and it's also been useful having the accolades because with these, I can get an accurate range of the target. So. I know where I, you know, where I need to be aiming. In fact, in fact, for that matter, I could even dial in if I wanted to and um, really put some sort of precise shots down there. But yeah, that's the whole point of having the thermal add-on, though, is that you don't need to uh, take long shots. You can get up pretty close to stuff. But I've been a bit lazy this evening. I've been sat in the fox box and letting everything come to me. But all in all, good result, three down. So pretty happy with that. So that's another dog fox, another good sized fox that. I have to be a little bit careful there, I don't want to end up going into that uh, slurry pit, that wouldn't have been uh, too clever. Right, well, I've done about a four hour stint now. Um, so uh, I haven't seen the fox for probably the last hour and a half, something like that. So I think I'm going to call it a night, I'm starving hungry, so I'm going to go and get something to eat. <laughs> With a quick vodka and coke, I spoke before bed, a little nightcap. Uh, the time I get home is going to be about half one, two o'clock anyway, so yeah, I think that's enough for tonight. So although the seer performed well enough for me to take shots on foxes out to 175 yards, it wasn't really showing the unit to its full potential. I'll leave you a little clip of some wild boar that were filmed about 70 metres through the seer to show what it's capable of. Well that's it for this week, thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after you, looking after your sport. This has been The Shooting Show. Sure.